keen to find out if artificial intelligence can really help make your content creation life easier. In this video, I will demo how AI can assist in creating content for a blog post. Hi, I'm Brandon from Business Beyond 40. If you want to see more videos like these, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Today I will be demonstrating Jarvis and how he is able to create content for your blog post with ease. There are three feature plans that are available within Jarvis and the one that I'll be using today is Boss Mode. It has all the bells and whistles, but at $119 a month at at the time of recording, this is fairly cheap that considering that you'll be able to create your own content in a matter of hours. I know that I've used content writers in the past to create some of my content and generally I've paid upwards in the region of about a thousand dollars for six or seven articles to be created. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into the program. Once you log into Jarvis, this is pretty much the dashboard and down the left hand side is a menu. Now, while this is not a training on Jarvis, on how to use Jarvis. What I am going to be demonstrating today is a function within Jarvis and this is really only available within the boss mode and that's called recipes. So what are recipes? Recipes are literally a bunch of commands that you're going to issue to Jarvis that'll get him to write the content for you. And in this case, we're going to run one for our blog post that we're going to create today. There are others that you can run as well. If you want to get Jarvis to write you a product review blog post, a Facebook ad or a video script blueprint, you can use him to generate those as well. But for now, let's go into the blog post recipe. So once you've opened your recipe, this is the default recipe that's available to you when launching the blog post recipe. It'll work perfectly fine. It'll be able to create a blog post for you. For now, though, I am going to use my own recipe that I've created. These are just additional commands that I've added into the recipe, and we may not use all of them in today's blog post creation. But what I'll do is I'll make this recipe available to you for download in the description below. You're more than welcome to you. So as I stated at the intro of this video, we're going to get Jarvis to write us a piece of content about a topic that I'm not an expert in. So during lockdown of this year, we got ourselves a puppy. He is a combination of a Jack Russell and a pug. Now I'm aware that pugs have certain health issues and into I'm going to write a post about those health conditions that pugs might experience. So let's head up to the top line and this is where we're going to start with our very first instruction to Jarvis. So over here, this is pretty much the command section that will instruct Jarvis and what he needs to do. We're going to ask him to write a brief on a particular topic and we'll put that topic in here shortly. So what I'm suggesting here is that you've already done your keyword research on your particular topic and you've obtained those keywords that people are searching for. So the second part of this line in the brackets is just the notes that I've included to instruct you on what to do with this particular line. So we're going to replace topic with the keyword that you've identified as part of your keyword research that you're going to be writing your article about. So in my case, I am going to be writing about health problems that pugs might face. So what we do is let's just hit a couple of enters over there or returns. Issue that command to him is make sure that your cursor is right at the end of the sentence or the command that you're going to instructing him to write for you. And once the cursor is there, you hit control and enter on your keyboard. It'll highlight it and Jarvis will then start to create the, the brief as has been instructed in this case. So if you're happy with the brief, and in this case I am, and the reason why I'm happy with it is because Jarvis hasn't provided the, ex the specifics to the ailments or the health problems that a pug might have. Right, so what are we gonna do is we'll take this particular brief and we'll copy that. And on the left-hand panel on the side here, you can see there's the, the content description or the brief, and we're gonna place that information into, into that box. So now we have our brief. So we've taken that and let's remove that. So next, what we want Jarvis to do for us is to come up with some blog title ideas for our topic. So once again, let's just replace topic there with our health problems for pugs. I'm just gonna give a little bit more space at the bottom there, make sure that my cursor is right at the end, hit control enter, and Jarvis is gonna to start to give us some ideas for our title for this particular topic. And you have the two of them, are how to identify health problems in pugs or preventative care for pugs. I will go with the first one and we'll use that as our title. So we copy that and we head over there to the top and we create a type, we add that into the title. I will disregard this 
title for now, but you could more than welcome to obviously keep this title for a second blog post at a later at a later stage. For now, I am going to delete that. I am going to remove that item and I'm going to change this into my H1 because that is what it is. Right, we no longer require our brief, so we can get rid of that. Move our title right up to the top. Moving over to the left-hand panel over here, we've got our title, which we've already updated, as well as our content brief. There are two other fields in here that we should go and update. The first one is the tone of voice that you are wanting to write your content in. For me, I'm gonna use this as an informative and casual tone of voice for all my content writing going forward. And keyword, I am going to use our topic that we had Earlier. So for now, I'll just leave it as health problems for pugs. You can add up to three, as I've said in them. Right. And, and scrolling down, you can have varying lengths of output. You can have shorter, medium and longer. For now, we'll continue with just the medium for output on this particular blog post. If you were going to be writing longer form content like eBooks along those lines or even books, um, you would then use the longer, longer output length. Right. Let us move on to the next step of or our next instruction for Jarvis. You'll notice our next one here is to write an introduction and I no longer have to specify the topic as Jarvis will use this left hand panel for information as well as any previously written information that he has on this particular post. So for now, let's just once again give a few more returns and let's get Jarvis to write us an introduction for our post on how to identify health problems in pugs. And the way Jarvis goes, he has created two paragraphs for us and you can now go and review this introduction and see whether you are happy with it. So after reviewing the content that Jarvis has created here, I realized that Jarvis has given me a pretty good introduction to start off with. But then what I see Jarvis has done is he's actually started to provide details or of the content that we're going to want him to write about further down in our particular post. So I'm going to remove this portion of the information that he has provided because you can, as you can see from here, the, vine, the very next instruction that we're going to give Jarvis is one to write a blog outline for us. So what we're going to do here, and here's just my notes after this command again, and this is just really to change those outlines into actually H2 headings for your for your blog post, but we'll get to that shortly. So let's hit return there, move our cursor to the end and control enter. And Jarvis is now going to write the blog outline for us. He's going to give us a few items that we can potentially use in our outline. Now, the one thing that I'll say about boss mode and blog post outlines is that Jarvis in this mode doesn't generally provide the greatest of outlines. I don't usually use them but i'm going to show you a tip on how you can get a better blog post outline so you head over here to power mode and as you once you've gone over there on the left hand side you will get a list of all the templates that jarvis has available at his disposable that at, at his disposal that you can use so we're going to head over to the blog post outline and in this blog post title or topic i am going to put that keyword research result that I, we had used earlier, so the health problems for pugs, and I'm going to get Jarvis to generate some post outlines for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to, I like the first one, but there's also one or two out of the second that I would possibly want Jarvis to write about in this particular blog post. So head over here, you go to the copy to the clipboard and we come over here and what we'll do is we'll just remove the content that Jarvis had placed in here and let's place those in there and let's go down to the second where was the second one because I liked I think the dental disease and the heart disease as well the outlines that we want we can go back into boss mode and we'll remove the ones that we don't no longer want So once we've got the outline that we are happy with, and 
let's face it, you don't need to use Jarvis to create the outline for you. If you're the expert in your particular field or the topic that you're writing about, you create these particular outlines. And this is what Jarvis will then go and assist you with in getting information about those particular topics or those outlines. Right. So for now, what we're going to do is part of the other instruction that we had over here was to select the appropriate outline points, which we've now done, and we format them to H2. Now that we've got those formatted into the H2 level, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to copy this command. So continue writing more information about the previous sentence. And yeah, you'll know, once again, my note here is to manually enter this command be below each of those. Once that is done, we can now start giving Jarvis his next set of instructions. And for that, we're going to get him to write his first piece of content for our outline controller. Enter, whoops, wrong thing there, control and enter. And Jarvis, you'll see he starts to think about things and he'll start to generate the first paragraph for allergies and skin problems for pugs. So having a look through the content that Jarvis has created for us here, I can see that Jarvis has started to talk about the allergies and skin problems. And then it basically the reference is just to go and have a checkup. He then starts to list a couple of other, I suppose, health issues that could be related to allergies and skin problems. Now, while I am not, I don't particularly want any of that information in there, I just can go and delete it. But what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to delete that part of it as well. And I'm going to get Jarvis to continue writing from a point, but I'm going to give him some guidance of what I want him to, to write about. So allergies and skin problems, pugs are prone to allergies and skin problems. Yep. Some of these skin problems are, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to either control J or compose and Jarvis is going to continue writing for me. So let's have a look there are caused by food, but they're often resolved when the dog is fed differently. Skin problems are also common among pugs that spend their time in a lot of water or in contact with certain chemicals. And as you can see, the the allergic reactions can be triggered by anything from pollen to dust mites. And if your pug is, you can see Jarvis has not completed this particular paragraph. All you do is control J in this case, and you get Jarvis to continue writing. He carries on thinking about it and he starts to produce the end next paragraph. Yeah, you can see Jarvis now jumps into the next health issue, which is dental health issues. And we might even have that in here. No, we don't have it as one of our lists. If you like it, add it as an H2. If you don't want it, just delete it. So once we're happy with that, we move on to the next point in our outline that we're going to get Jarvis to write about. And once again, yeah, command enter or control enter and Jarvis already starting to think and he should now start producing us some information about the eye problems that pugs have. Jarvis has provided um, a per our first paragraph on eye problems. He has then decided that he needed to then talk about respiratory problems. We're not going to want that. So what we'll do is we will delete that particular that information. Now Jarvis has provided some information about the eye problems and, and what they are. So what I'm going to do is one of my other commands in my recipe here is answer the question. So let's go there. Let's go grab that and head back up over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get Jarvis to answer the question. How do we treat? So we create our question for Jarvis to end to to answer command enter and Jarvis will hopefully provide us with an answer of how we treat this particular issue. So having a look at this, uh, Jarvis has pretty much repeated the same paragraph again to us. So if you want to get him to repeat that command, basically telling him you didn't like the answer, hit control and the forward slash key. And that will remove what Jarvis had written previously, and he will then rewrite that particular item, hopefully providing you with some additional information. And over here, you can now see that there are a number of treatments available for pug eye packing syndrome. And he then provides us with two options that have a good success rate in, in order to treat that. And obviously what you could do over here is you could go get a uh, sign up as an affiliate for any of these particular products and link them in at this point in time. I do want to, however, 
issue a word of caution at this point, you do need to fact check everything that Jarvis outputs to you. Just do a simple Google search on that particular solution. And if it fits with what Jarvis has stated in here, perfect then that is the answer. If not, you can just rephrase the question again and get Jarvis to rewrite the answer. Right, let's get Jarvis to continue writing for us. Now you can see uh, this section of the content that Jarvis has written. He's basically repeating himself and he's being a little bit vague. So in boss mode, Jarvis has the ability to pre-read up to 3000 words that he's already written in a particular blog post. I think if you're on some of the smaller packages, he can only pre-read up to 600 words, but you would just have to check the details on that. So if you don't want Jarvis to, to read beyond a certain point, all you do is you go enter in three asterisks like that. And what that means is Jarvis will no longer read any of the content above those asterisks. He will only need to use this particular sentence plus the information that is contained on our, on our left-hand panel on this on, over here in order to derive his answer. So what we'll do is we'll go and we'll delete that information and we'll recopy that sentence in there and we'll put that in there and get Jarvis to rewrite information only pertaining to pug heart disease. And this should hopefully give us better content in this, in this section of the post. And if you don't get the answer that you're exactly looking for, once again, control and forward slash to get Jarvis to undo what he had previously provided and to rewrite this, the content for you. And now we can just get him to continue that we don't need and we'll get him to continue writing, control J. And yeah, he's starting to provide some really more in-depth information about heart disease for pugs. And you can see he hasn't finished writing, so we'll let him continue, control J, and we let him write um, some more. He still hasn't completed that. Um, and you can see he has now completed up until that point, he has now provided sufficient information on that particular topic. So that is how you get Jarvis to provide you with additional accurate content. Once again, go and fact check. Now that Jarvis has finished writing this content for us, we're gonna get him to write us a, a conclusion. So we head over here, let's just remove those three asterisks, otherwise he would only read as far back as those three lines, which we're not gonna want him to do. So there are a couple of other commands that you can go and use. They'll be available in, in the description below. Uh, you can make a list of the topic. If you wanted to go with that, you could also get him to write some FAQs for you. And last we got, we're gonna do in this particular post is we're gonna get him to write ourselves a conclusion about this blog post. What I'd did forget to do at this point is I may have just wanted to put in a heading over here called conclusion and let's change that to an h2 and we'll get him to write some more information and then you can sign off your your blog post as you wish so as far as that goes that is a completed blog post what I would normally do is I would come back the next day and I would reread this entire blog post. I would do some of the fact checking, just make that everything lines up and is accurate, as well as just that the flow of this particular post works. And I'd then also add in my own personality into the content, right? And, and if need be, I'd get Jarvis to rewrite some of the, the content if it was required. And there you have your blog post created in less than 30 minutes. Feel free to download the recipe in the description below. And at the time of recording, Jarvis is currently offering 10,000 words for, as part of a free trial. So go and sign up and go and make use of those 10,000 free words. So these are some of the templates that Jarvis has available and that he can help you out with. So some of the ones that I've used extensively at, at this point in time is definitely for my blog post creation and um, some of the other ones that I've used is for Google ads headlines and creating those actual Google ads. Um, Facebook ads have also been used. There's some Amazon product offers as well. Photo post captions for Instagram, uh, YouTube video titles and descriptions and ideas. You can be brainstorming some ideas as well. So Jarvis has 
numerous templates that he can help you out with. Go and have a look in the description below. I'll have a link to the templates as well as to the free trial. So till next time, have a great day.